Good day, my wonderful people. It's me again, the great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Look at the screen in front of you. Quadruple murder in Clarendon. You see that? This is what I'm talking about. It's not even Sunday morning fully. But they killed two sisters and two other young men. What is going on in Jamaica? Now, look at the screen in front of you. It says, in May Pen, four people were rounded up from their house and killed in Havana Heights, Face Street. In the wee hours of Sunday morning, in what is thought to be a lottery scamming gone bad. What the hell is going on in Jamaica? Now, these mobs are scamming, and a group of guys or a group of people came over, and you want to tell me nobody can call the police? What the hell is going on in Jamaica? No, them kill these four people. And all the police is saying it's an ongoing investigation. Yo, they need to catch who do this and bring them to justice, dog. This is unacceptable. No, the people them kill them say right here is 33 year old. Tashana White and her 25-year-old sister, Serona White and Luke Newman, 19, and Michael Salman. Now, these are some young people, and they mix up in a scamming, and they not even know what they are doing. That don't give these people the right to gun these people down like animals. Now, how can a group of men or a group of people walk over with gun kicking a door in a community where people are living i could see if it's only these four people was there in that community and there is no response the police all they're saying is an ongoing investigation remember now the, the day before you had five people gone down in downtown kingston and then sunday now you have another four people gone down in, in, in Clarendon and then you have other things going on out. That's a nation under siege, dog. Yo, this is unacceptable. Now, these people were all from Havana Heights and that's a section in Denby, part of the parish. Now, you want to tell me that there was no police, nobody in the group could say, yo, listen, let's talk to these people. Just like what politics what said, Jamaica is ungovernable. There is no real law enforcement that's solving problems in Jamaica. No, what gives us this insatiable appetite for killing? So now that them kill these four people, are they gonna get their money back? Or is it just revenge, blood? We has, uh, we has Jamaican we have to really say to ourselves, if this happened to these people, that means this can happen to anybody. You saw in the video I put up in West Kingston, they shot the lady baby. You understand? And, and kill the lady. What? Are we going to do about this? No. 
the police force, I, uh, some days, I blame them, but it's unfair to them, because there is a social breakdown in our community, and the police are left to deal with it. You understand? Amongst screwed up pay, this, that. So a lot of them turn to uh, illegal activity. Like some of, uh, in Jamaica, the police are some of the richest set of man. And you hear so the police them, like don't I see you mix up with all the scamming and all them things there. So we don't even know who killed these people. But it's alleged that it's coming. That means somebody knew they were going to die. Follow me now. Now, as you see in front of you, the four people then was found on the outside with gunshot wound to the head and upper body. Their homes, there was four, three homes in the yard that was ransacked and you could see where they were taken from their perspective home within the yard and grouped in the back and was executed. Yo, Jamaicans are some of the wickedest set of people on the planet, yo. What is wrong with us? When are we going to stop this? This leaves a stain on our country. Now, I wonder what the uptown people them, uptown in Beverly Hills and them places, what are they saying when they're reading these news? Are they detached from this, from these things? I don't know. This is very worrying. I demand the government to solve this, especially when you have two women being executed like this. And everybody is silent from what I am seeing. It tells me that a lot of people know what's going on. The reports goes on to say that these two young women, their family member was the target. So the police know what's going on. You understand? That's why this scamming thing is so dangerous. The scam of them have no boundary. And then the scam of them turn in a murderer. And them are live lavish while other people are suffer. You understand? This has to stop. Yo, I hope the police catch them people you know, and dash them away you now. Straight up. Especially when you have two beautiful young women with their life ahead of them. I hope the government and the people them uptown here at the back of them neck stand up and they better do something about this because this can reach them. Yo, let me know what you think about this. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And like I said, doing these Blogs and stuff stress me out, but I'm going to keep it burning. You understand? And let me know what your opinion It's a big disgrace on our country and law enforcement and the people of Jamaica, the people of Jamaica, to have this kind of headlines coming out of Jamaica. Countryman out.